Hey there, it's me, Carl Welsman, and today, this is beer number three of a session. Session, we're gonna be talking about Doomba. Doomba Amber Ale, balanced and Moorish, coming in at 4.3%. It's confession time, guys. I've never tried Doomba before. It's my first time trying it. First time trying it. Sharps Brewery. Lift these up because I'm definitely getting some sort of fucking issue with these eyes. I need to lift my peepers up to be able to fucking read now. We started brewing in rock in 1994 with an ambition to brew exceptional beer for the enjoyment of all. And we remain committed to this philosophy today. I don't believe that for one fucking moment. I'm saying that. I'm saying, I'm thinking that you're brewing beers to make a little bit of fucking money and that you couldn't give one fuck about how fucking tasty your beers are because they're mass produced, pumped into the supermarkets and everywhere else. I've, I've seen these Doom Bar beers everywhere. I, I've, I've just never really thought about picking one up. I, I've never really been bothered about trying them before. Doom Bar, Amber Ale. At the mouth of the caramel. <laughs> caramel, dickhead, it says. At the mouth. <sighs> there we go, that helps. At the mouth of the camel estuary in Rock Home lies the treacherous Doomba sandbank. The inspiration for this balanced and Moorish amber ale, the sandbank, is revered as a formidable nautical challenge that should be approached with respect and navigated with skill. So what we get in here, Doom Bar is a perfectly balanced beer combining subtle yet complex flavors. Doom Bar is both satisfying and deliciously Moorish. Aroma, spicy, resinous hop, sweet, roasted malts, taste, balanced, succulent dried fruit, lightly roasted malt. Finish, Moorish. Subtle bitterness. I'm fucking open for a subtle bit bitterness because, like I said, this is beer number three. Starting with this one, sweet as fuck. Followed by this one, so goddamn bitter it made my testicles go all the way up to a point that I might not see them until the new year, which is a fucking week or two away. Serve. Tastes best. Chilled? Well, I, most most beers are uh, most beers are best chilled. They're, they're most of them are best chilled. Food pairing great with battered seafood like calamari, grilled white fish or pork. Also great with Sunday roasts. All of those are very fucking different from each other, aren't they? Battered seafood, that's fine. Bit of calamari, battered calamari, grilled white fish. All right, we're still, we're still in the same fucking ballpark here, but then you chuck in pork, you fucking cheeky cunts. Fuck it out. Let's pop this fucking twat open. Haunted. Oh, I'm going in for a sniff, guy. I, I'm going in for a sniff, guys. Aroma, spicy, resinous hop, sweet roasted malts. Fucking sweet roasted malts, my ass. No smell at all. It's probably because I've just almost defecated. Let's pour this out. I'm going for a lively pour. I seen a video the other day and it was a guy saying, you gotta get that fucking beer a chance to fucking pump around the glass and get that nice head on there and I was like, do you know what? Yeah, sometimes I pour a little too carefully and we don't get much head at all and now I've got a lot of head. Ooh. Three finger head. It's slightly golden. Got a bit of a sniff now. And fuck it, it smells a lot milder than this. Jesus. Smells all right, resinous though. Mm, like resinous, spicy resinous hops, sweet roasted malts. 
a bit of malt in there, but it, overall it's, it's, it's malt beer. So I'm going in for a taste. <laughs> I nearly went in and fucking had a sip of it without telling you guys. Cheers, dickheads. Beer number three. Oh, that's all right, actually. That's nice. Oh, thank fuck for that. Because I was really worried after drinking this. Really fucking worried. I was like, oh my God. Sweet baby Jesus. Mary, donkey in the river lagging. Yeah, it tastes better than it sniffs, to be honest. I'm a, there's a lot of honesty going on today. Yeah, it's all right. It's uh, mild enough. Um, toasted, very malty. In a good way, I do like a nice, I like a nice malty beer. You know, nice and grainy. Something feels quite healthy about drinking a malty beer. That's nice. I don't know about, like, so they're talking about this goes good with fish and calamari and a Sunday. Sunday roast, absolutely. A nice big old gravy dinner, 100%. Not too sure about calamari and that. Nah, that's a fucking, that's a Sunday afternoon beer. Have a couple of sips with your Sunday roast and then you finish up laying on the sofa watching, I don't know, maybe a biopic of some sort or maybe Gladiator. You can't go wrong with Gladiator. Or the 300, either when you got yourself some muscly topless guys all having a brawl and you're having a fuck in the sip of your doom bar, nice and malty, probably gonna make me a little bit farty, but you know what? After a Sunday roast and some muscly men fighting on the TV. Mm. <sighs> it's not Sunday right now, but I might pop on a muscly man video if you know what I mean. Not too muscly though, not too muscly. I, I, I prefer it when a muscly man is still humanoid in shape. There, there is a line where we start to stray into supernatural or monster territory and uh, that's, not, that's not something that I enjoy watching unless that's the sort of film I'm looking for. Not today though, not today. Let's go for another little pour. What else can we say here? I, I spilt a little bit on the top there. I mean, you, you can see it there. It's golden, it's lively. It's, it, it tastes malty. That's going for that carbonation. <sighs> nice carbonation. Overall, a very pleasant beer. And I, as well as being perfect after a Sunday roast, I I think I could drink this on a nice hot sunny day as well, just sitting there. Oh yeah, all out in the sunshine, having a little look around, seeing what's going on, seeing if there's some families having a nice picnic and I'm looking at them going, oh, what sandwiches you got there? Have you got a triple decker? Well, that's nice, this cheese and pickle. Still looks nice though. Doomba, Amber Ale, Balance the Moorish. They're not wrong. Very tasty beer overall. Coming in at a reasonable 4.3% as well. Very nice. A nice, tasty beer. One that I'll definitely get again. Surprised me with how tasty it is. I'm a happy chap. We're going to give you a fucking 7.9 out of 10. Well done, Doombar. Well fucking done.